Hey guys, and welcome to episode 15 of the Ultimate Golf Road Trip. Today, we're on Kiwa Island at the Ocean Course. And the Ocean Course is the first of the top five ranked Golf Digest courses that we're playing on this trip. And it's absolutely awesome. Um, it winds its way up and down the coast. It's super windy out here. We have some amazing, awesome ocean views on the back nine. And it's certainly a course that's well worth a play. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the round. It's fair to say that I was expecting a lot from Kiwa Island's ocean course. Aside from being a top five ranked public, it's played host to world-class events like the Ryder Cup and the PGA Championship. But even with lofty expectations, the ocean course still managed to blow me away. The ocean course is every bit as tough as you've likely heard, and every bit as fun too. Be sure to get to the course plenty early to explore the clubhouse and mentally prepare for what lies ahead. Then, step out onto the back porch and soak it all in. After your warm-up, the staff will shuttle you from the clubhouse to the first tee about 15 minutes before your tee time, so be sure to plan accordingly. The front nine sits a few hundred yards from the coast, taking you through fairways lined by marshlands, seagrass, waste bunkers, and oak trees that have taken on a unique look from the years of battering from wind and the sea. The back nine takes you to the south side of the clubhouse and is directly on the ocean, meaning winds will blow. It swaps out those unique trees for more water while keeping plenty of bunkers and fescue throughout. Alright, so now some advice for first timers. 1. Take a caddy. The course is walking only until noon, and not only will these guys lug your bag around and routinely beat you to your ball, they'll also hook you up with need to know info, share tidbits about each hole, and help you hone in on the greens. It's a hundred bucks, definitely well spent. Two, play the right tees for you. Yes, you could back it up to 8,000 yards if you wanted, but let's not be a hero. Play a yardage you're comfortable with. You'll still have plenty of challenge and way more fun. Three, embrace the wind because, well here, the wind pretty much always blows. It was calm on the range, but by the time we reached the back nine, it was blowing 25 miles an hour, which I was told is pretty standard. Four, make the walk to the back tee of the par 3 14th where you'll find my favorite view on the golf course. And five, walk the dunes in the right rough of the 15th and 16th holes. Atlantic on your right and golf course on your left makes for a pretty special scene. And lastly, after the round, Pull up a chair and enjoy a post-round drink from the Ryder Cup bar. I promise, those views won't get old. The ocean course is certainly one special place, and without a doubt, well worth your time and money.